Our next guest is an accomplished actor who's turning heads with his latest role on HBO. Joining us now to talk about the new season of the hit dramedy series Looking is Raul Castillo. Welcome to Arise. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yes, so this show is about a group of friends that are seeking love in San Francisco. That's so right. what else can you tell us about what we can expect? For the second season, yes. uh, I think a deeper exploration into the world that we established in the first uh, new characters. We have a lot of new great characters. Mm -hmm. um, and just diving deeper into the characters that were established in the first season. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you play the role of Richie. That's right. Who's a very charming gay barber. And one of the only uh, Latino gay characters on television. Do you think we need to see more of this? And why is this role so important? Uh, well, there's actually two on our show. There's also the, the character of Augustine is also Latino, and he's one of the, you know, one of the main three characters. And, and I mean, it's important. I think it's important to see diversity. I think people want to see themselves on screen. People like them. Uh, I think it, people are excited when they see people like them on, on themselves on, on screen. So I think, um, you know, it seems like looking and HBO is doing a really good job of kind of uh, introducing characters in a nat natural way. Yeah. And that have a level of humanity, I think, that, that oftentimes uh, characters of color don't, don't oftentimes have, uh, you know, on, on TV. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a real pleasure and an honor to bring Richie to life. Yeah. yeah. Well, you started out as a part-time romantic interest for one of the other main characters, but you soon became a fan favorite. Now you're a <laughs> staple on the show. Why do you think people fell in love with Richie? Uh, he, Richie is sort of the moral uh, center of the show in mm -hmm. a lot of ways. I think these <laughs> characters are, are, you know, they have their, their flaws and, and, uh, and, and that, you know, a lot of the writing explores their, their flaws and, uh, in, a, in, a, you know, in a really entertaining way. To but say I, the least. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I think Richie kind of is, uh, you know, he's astute and he's assertive and, and uh, he has a strong sense of, uh, of, of principle. And, uh, and, and morals, uh, I think, that, that, that people re really respond to. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in real life, you're actually straight. So was it ever difficult to, to put yourself in Richie's head inside the, the head of a, a gay man? Was, how, how did you go about that? Uh, it, I wouldn't say it was difficult. I have a great scene partner in Jonathan Groff, and, yeah. and we, we, you know, we have a great friendship and, and outside of the show. And we're both New Yorkers, and we're both uh, theater actors. And I think we got along in a great way. And, yeah. and, uh, I, I didn't really find it difficult. It's just, you know, there's a little more stubble when you're kissing a guy, but that's about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, how do you think your character will grow? Or how would you hope your character will grow in the upcoming seasons? Um, I think in this season, they, they're doing a great job of, of kind of looking into his past and to his mm -hmm. home life and, and, and to his <coughs> family life and, um, and kind of uh, exploring what made him who he is. Mm -hmm. I really so I, I, I think that we'll continue to do that, and yeah, hopefully we, we're lucky now, enough to so get the third season that we'll, we'll keep doing school. that. I think you will, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the show has garnered both critical <clears throat> acclaim and commercial success. Why do you think it, it's been so successful and resonates with, with the viewers in this way? Well, I, I think uh, that the characters, I think it's a very uh, much a kind of slice of life show. It's a very realistic portrayal of these guys. It, 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 you know, we got accused a lot early on of being boring, and I think what people were responding to was that it was sort of a slice of life thing. But the, the viewers too stuck with us. Too realistic, maybe. Yeah, too realistic, exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, but viewers stuck with us, and I think uh, they got to a certain point in the, se in the first season where they, they got into these characters and they realized, I think, what the, uh, uh, Michael Lannon and Andrew Haig, our executive producers, were trying to do. And I think all yeah. shows, I think it takes time. You have to establish the world and the right. characters, and, mm -hmm. and if you hang in there, I think it could be a big payoff. You know? yeah. I, think, I think they did a great job of it. Yeah. So, well, yeah. you know what? Been. A lot of people mm. have actually called it the gay version of girls or sex in a city. <laughs> what do you think of that assessment? I mean, I think that that's, that's, those are you know, great uh, and, uh, shows to be compared to. Uh, uh, I'm a fan of both. Um, but I think at the end of the day, looking is its own thing. I think that Andrew Haig, uh, our showrunner, has, uh, you know, I think that he has a certain style um, that's, I think, a, a departure from those shows that are a little bit broader comedy. I mean, we're, we're considered a comedy because we're in the half hour format, but I, I think uh, um, he, he really kind of has a um, real a, a deft hand at exploring character in a, in a very kind of deep way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you're not playing Richie, mm -hmm. what else do you have going on? What other projects can we expect from you? Well, I'm a, play, I'm a playwright as well. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have a play coming up in Chicago that I wrote. It's going on later, later this year in okay. April. What's um, that about? It's called Between You, Me, and the Lampshade. It's about okay. a single mother and, and uh, her teenage son who live in the border, uh, Texas-Mexico border, which is where I grew up. And, and uh, 
an undocumented immigrant breaks into their trailer home, uh, think, looking for refuge and uh, thinking that the that the home is, is abandoned, and then quickly learns that there are people there, and then it's about those, you know, they're, they're, those interactions. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, complex. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, until then, we'll just have to check you out on Looking every yes. Sunday night at 8:30 on HBO. Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Congratulations on the success. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.